April 6th dawns quiet in the waters off Okinawa. The calm did not comfort Ensign Doug Aitken. We knew that we were going to be in for trouble. We just knew it. On the nearby islands, the Japanese had been gathering every usable plane and pilot remaining in their arsenal. Some are inexperienced, but no less devoted. They call this mission Kikusui, or floating chrysanthemum. They take off in waves. They begin a kamikaze spree that dwarfs anything before or since. In the next two days, over 350 enemy planes wreak absolute havoc. American pilots try to stop them in roller coaster dogfights. Navy gunners try to derail them in white knuckle high speed combat, sometimes close enough to see each other's faces. General Buckner, an avid hunter, describes the adrenaline rush to his wife. I have had thrills in duck blinds, but none comparable to that of seeing an enemy plane shot down when it was heading directly at our ship. Some are cut down, but others get through. For sailors like Doug Aitken, the horror is burned into memory. And all of a sudden, General Quarters, General Quarters, all hands man your battle stations. First of all, power went out. So we opened the doors and we could see all this commotion and all this smoke. Japan intentionally crashes 1,900 planes in suicide dives around Okinawa, the most intense kamikaze attacks of the entire Pacific campaign. They sink 26 ships and damage 164 more. The Japanese consider it noble sacrifice. The Americans consider it inhumane warfare. You can't identify people. The right thing to do is bury at sea. It is the greatest concentration of Navy losses since Pearl Harbor.